Hello, thank you for choosing Cincinnati Bell. These are the self-installation instructions for the Zyxel 660 Gateway. Let's take a look inside the box. You'll find the Zyxel Gateway, a yellow Ethernet LAN cable, your power adapter, a telephone cord, and some phone filters, two of which will have a single open port, and one will have two open ports. Before you begin the self-install, locate one of your telephone jacks. Try to find a jack that's located in near proximity to an electrical outlet. This will just make the self-install much easier. Now that you've found your telephone jack, let me explain what these filters are for. In order to have a clean internet connection, it is necessary to install a filter for each one of your conventional phones or any other device maybe like a fax machine. So grab one of the filters that has only one open port. You should have two of them. Disconnect the phone jack from the wall, plug the cable directly into the filter, then plug the filter directly into the jack. Now go ahead and get your gateway. Take your power cable, and plug it into the electrical outlet nearby. Plug the other end directly into the gateway. Now find the filter that was in your box that has two open ports. As you can see, one will be labeled for a phone and one will be labeled for an internet connection. Plug that filter directly into the phone jack. Now, Go to your gateway, find the phone cord, and plug it directly into the DSL port, as you see here. Take the other end of the cord and plug it into the filter that's labeled for the internet. Now that you've connected power and you've connected to the phone jack, let's ensure your gateway has the correct connections in. Go to the front of the gateway where you see the word power. The light will begin to light up and turn solid, just like you see here. As you move down the front of the gateway itself, you will see an ethernet, DSL, and internet labeled. The DSL light will begin to flash intermittently when the modem is syncing with the internet. You're gonna know that you have a good internet connection once the DSL light indicator stays on. Now, there are two ways you can connect your computer to the internet. The first way I'll show you is by using the ethernet cord that was in your box. It could be yellow. It could potentially be a different color. Now go to your gateway and look in the back. You'll see four open ports it doesn't matter which port you choose, just go ahead and select one. Directly plug it in, let's say number one. Now, connect the other end of the cable directly to your computer. Find the ethernet slot and snap it in, just like you see here. All Zyxel 660 gateways come with wireless technology built in. On the back of your gateway, there's a white label. That label will have a network name, SSID, and also have a WPA PSK key. The network name is the name of your wireless network. The key is the password. Now grab a device, search for the wireless network. You'll see the network name on the back of your label, and that's what you're going to want to connect to. Cincinnati Bell always offers additional support. If you need any additional assistance, please visit our help center, or you can call us at the number you see here. Also, go ahead and write down your network name and password on this piece of paper so you don't always have to look in the back of your gateway. Thanks for watching, and I hope this video was helpful. By now, you should be connected to the internet, but if for some reason you need additional assistance, visit our help center on our website 
or you can also visit our YouTube channel where we have more customer education and support videos.